Welcome back, everyone. Heart disease is not just a man's disease. It's a leading cause, <clears throat> excuse me, of death in women. Shirley Peterson is the Executive Clinical Director of Heart and Vascular Program at Intermountain Health, here to tell us more in the sponsored interview. Thank you so much for yeah. being here. Thanks now, for having me. I know that heart disease is the number one killer among men and women, but what I didn't know is that it kills more women than men. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. And what we're finding is we've looked at data and research as it relates to awareness is that unfortunately that's down. But heart disease will claim literally one in three women's lives. So listen to this statistic. It's one in 31 women who will, be, who will die of breast cancer. But like you said, one in three for heart disease. Exactly. That's astounding. Yeah, it, it's absolutely crazy. And there's so much that we can do. And we ask, you know, what's the first thing we can do? It's really just creating awareness. And if you're a woman, or you know a woman, or you interact with a woman, you know somebody that's been affected or will be affected by heart disease. And I think it's just a matter of empowering ourselves with knowledge and understanding what our risks are as women and what it takes to reduce those risks so that we don't have to be one of those that uh, suffer from it. And Shirley, when it comes to heart disease, it can be of all ages. It's not just in older men and women. Yeah. You bet. And you know, one of the things that's really unique about women is we have a unique opportunity for risk factors that oftentimes aren't considered. So many of you probably have friends or family members or yourself, for example, who have autoimmune disease or somebody who had hypertension during pregnancy mm -hmm. or eclampsia or preeclampsia or polycystic ovarian syndrome diabetes during pregnancy, and all of these are unique and special risk factors for women that we should take just as seriously as our blood pressure and our cholesterol, you know, some of the more traditional risk factors. I mean, you just named a couple that I went through, gestational diabetes, and, yeah. and we know so many women, so those are risk factors. Absolutely. There's a known correlation with increased risk for heart disease and those conditions, in addition to some of the traditional risk factors that we talk more about. And what are some of those? Yeah, so these are the more common ones, so it's your cholesterol and your blood pressure, your weight. If somebody really wants to take a deep dive, which I would encourage people to do, getting onto the American Heart Association's website and looking at their Life's Essential 8. And this year they added a new risk factor, and that's sleep. We've mm -hmm. got a lot of data behind what poor sleep quality does to our overall health and it absolutely increases our risk for heart disease as well. Another one we also mention a lot is family history. Yes, absolutely. That's something that people need to be aware of and maybe ask those questions. Yeah, particularly if it's an early family history. So in males less than 55 and women less than 65, if they have heart disease diagnosed before those ages, it's considered premature, which puts you at an even more increased risk. So being aware of both is really important. And what about symptoms? Because they can vary between men and women. Yeah, it, it's such a fantastic question at Intermountain Health. We've done some really interesting uh, analyses looking at how women present to the ER, for example, with a heart attack. And, and women do commonly present with chest pain, but they could also present with less typical factors that kind of can be confusing to a provider when they're evaluating a, a woman. So it could be abdominal pain, it could be back pain, it could be nausea, it could be a variety of other symptoms. We've implemented a protocol called the nose to navel protocol mm. that if a man or woman shows up to the ER with symptoms between their nose and their navel, they've earned an EKG. So really being aware that it could just be feeling really poorly and all of a sudden this, this feeling of doom is another common presentation for a woman. So just being very aware and having a low threshold when symptoms come like that to take them really seriously and not just write them off. And don't write them off, do not ignore, don't dismiss them, call your doctor. Absolutely, call your doctor, talk to your health care provider. A lot of women see women's health specialists, maybe more so than they do a primary care. And really just, again, empowering yourself with the knowledge, understanding what your risk factors are, and talking to your care providers about it is so critically important. This was an important message to hear. Be your own advocate. For more information on women and heart disease, go to intermountainhealth.org. Thank you so much, Shirley. Thanks for having us. We really appreciate the message opportunity. Absolutely.